on Facebook, I also try to just engage people in conversation. On both platforms, before I really, really get into a conversation with someone, I check out their profile, I click on the links, look at their sites, look at what they're about, look at their language. Uh, I don't get too much into politics or religion. I have strong opinions, but I don't feel that that's the appropriate place for me to share them unless I built a following that's focused on just that topic. And most of my followers are interested in building a business and know that I've been doing it online for 15 years. So I share what works for me in building a business. And uh, a lot of us, you know, look at how can we get people off of Facebook and Twitter and onto our, into our databases and into our customer follow-up system, if you will. So that's part of my focus. And so I think, well, what can I do to get people off of Facebook, for example? And an example would be um, a couple of weeks ago, my friend Jack Bastide and I recorded a and, and our friend Diane, we recorded an audio on how to generate business on Facebook, believe it or not. We called it Facebook Moolah. It's available at fbmoolah.com. And we created that to give away so that when people uh, hear about it, read about it, and they say, well, this person's going to teach me to actually sell on Facebook without offending people. Uh, let me go grab the free ebook. And they click on the link and they go over and they grab it. Well, we get them on a list. We opt them in. I know at that point I've got someone who's interested in marketing more effectively on Facebook so I can follow up with them later on. But that product that I gave away for free, and this is a secret, when you offer something for free on Facebook or Twitter, it has to have a lot of tremendous value so that the person that you get it from starts off with a good feeling about dealing with you. You know, They don't feel like you just suckered them in and grabbed their email address so you could spam them, but they actually got some value out of you. So when you follow up with them later on, they know that you uh, have the potential to give them additional value so they'll stay on your list.